thank you. Well, Please remain standing for the school. Please repeat after me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Bless us and bless our school. Bless us and bless our school. So that working together. So that working together. And playing together. And playing together. May learn to love you. May learn to love you. Unfortunately, 
information reached you last week that the dream might not happen in time for the beginning of the 2022-23 school year. Understandably, that news was difficult to receive and at a very sensitive time so close to graduation. First of all, please accept my deepest apologies that we will not be ready in time for 2023 resumption. We tried really hard to actualize this dream for you, for us, and for the extended Brisbane community. I am grateful that I have had the opportunity to have numerous, numerous conversations with you, dear parents, some of them easier to have than others. However, in the midst of the disappointing news, you have continued to communicate in love and have shown grace and the result of finding solutions. The thing about disappointment is that it shows what you really care about. It shows that what you really care about. It shows that you really care about that thing. And through the numerous conversations I have had, I know you care about Great Spring School. And I know you believe in us. So on behalf of the board, Mrs. Koiki, and our entire community, I apologize for this disappointment. Once again, I just want to say thank you for your love and trust for the Green Spring School vision. We're working really hard behind the scenes to continue to earn that trust. We remain committed to supporting our students' transition to secondary school. So thank you once again. So, dear graduates, there are so many words of advice that you're going to hear. So many stories will be told of how it was and how it might be as you will go to secondary school. As you sift through the numerous words of advice and encouragement you will hear, remember these three points of mine. Point one, you need to live, you need to live every day with intention. To live with intention is to have a plan, to have something you're working towards. Set different goals for yourself. Fun goals, challenging goals, exciting goals. Right now, the world is open to new ideas like never before. Try new things. Intentionally stretch yourself. Play a new instrument, learn a new language, or two, or three. I promise you that this mindset will serve you well as you move further on in your educational journey. Number two, you need to find your tribe and you need to love them hard. Once you get into secondary school, Sometime from now and the next five years, a clearer picture of who you are will emerge. You'll understand yourself a little bit better, what you like, how you like things done, and then you will gravitate towards people who will form your tribe, your group, your crew. It is very important to get this right. This group will be filled with people who like you for who you are, who will laugh with you when you're happy, and support you when you're sad. They will encourage you to work hard, play hard, and try new experiences. Each member of your tribe will bring something of value to the group. You might have a funny friend, an athletic friend, a friend who can dance, a friend who's good at math, and so on. The list is endless. What is important is not what differentiates you, but what brings you together. Being kind, driven, adventurous, waiting to experience life on your own terms. Be intentional about seeking guidance and listening to your parents, mentors, and others you respect, especially when they tell you not to include someone in your inner circle. Remember, it doesn't mean that that, person is a, that friend is a bad person. It could just mean they're not going to be helpful for the path that you're on. They might not have the same values as you do. So try to understand and respect your parents' advice. They haven't let you down yet, so trust them. Point three, understand clearly now that you will make mistakes. Don't let that stop you or derail your progress. With your growth mindset, focus on what you can learn from the mistakes you've made. A lot of times, success is built on mistakes. Don't waste a good mistake. You need to focus on having a growth mindset I can't stress this enough. Secondary school will come with its own challenges. Meeting new people from vastly different experiences, engaging with new subjects like Chinese, 
global perspectives, all while lugging around your big, big, heavy backpack across the various buildings and possibly forgetting your locker combination a few times. It could get chaotic at times. But my dear friends, that's what growth and progress looks like. It might look messy initially, but five years down the road, the growth will be amazing. On this journey, a right mindset will be invaluable and invaluable tool to have. We talk about the importance of having a growth mindset at Great Springs School. We teach students to embrace and practice the power of yet. I can't do this yet. Yet is a powerful word because it gives room for growth. It gives hope for future mastery and success. Your true potentials are unknown. Give yourselves the opportunity to find out how amazing you already are and how amazing you're going to be. Strive, for perf strive not for perfection, strive for purpose. I applaud you for all you have accomplished in elementary school. I applaud you for persisting and striving. But remember, as you move on to secondary, your potentials are unlimited. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, we may not be able to prepare the future for our children, but at least we can prepare our children for the future. That's what we do here at Green Springs. You have all you need to be successful in secondary school and to be incredible ambassadors for the world. Be grateful for everything everything and everyone in your life. Take time to say thank you to your classmates, your incredible teachers and your parents. Every single one of them play an important part in your amazing journey. Remember, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. So put in a little extra in everything you do and you will be unstoppable. I look forward to hearing of your great exploits Congratulations again.
We are celebrating the success of the fruitful end of our elementary education and the beginning of the new chapter in our school life. I know that all of us are in mixed emotions, but this is the time to rejoice, for we are able to finish and accomplish something that we could be proud of. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our dear God and those who have helped us achieve our dreams, especially our parents. Dr. Seuss once said, the more you read, the more things you know, the more that you learn, the more places you go. Our stay in elementary school has equipped us with knowledge and skills in preparation for vital roles that we have to play in society someday. We have learned to always strive for accuracy, take responsible risks, and most importantly, persistence. Reminiscing on some of the memories shared with my classmates, friends, and teachers, I remember things that we have laughed about, shared, and persisted on. Moments where we are sure ensured we attain excellence and victory. I hope we will continue to cherish all of those memories of joy and happiness. I want to thank all members of the Green Street community for supporting and helping us throughout our stay in elementary. All through the struggles and triumphs, you have all been there with us. To all our teachers who taught us not only the lessons in class, but also lessons in real life. We are grateful and appreciate your love and patience. We are most thankful to Mrs. Obutayo, Mr. Debeshi, Mrs. Marisa, Mr. Bang Bale, Mrs. Obushola Babolola, our amazing principal, and Mrs. Lubu Ramsi Bankole, the head of school, who supported our dreams and aspirations. We are very thankful to you all. To our wonderful parents, who are always beside us since the first day in school, we share with you our first days of victory. There will be more years of struggle, but we are confident we will triumph because we have parents like you. We promise to continue giving you joy, happiness, and respect. We cannot be here in this world without you. We know the sacrifices you made just to send us to the campus. To this, we are very grateful. My dear co graduates, you are all awesome. Working together and playing together made elementary school memorable. You gave your massive support while I hope this served as the head boy. We are a team and I hope to see us actualizing all our dreams and aspirations in the future. Once again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Sunile. Let's give another round of applause. Now it's time to go down memory lane. I would like to invite Donald Southern Area. Mr. Wale Shebanjo. Mr. Wale Shebanjo is the Group Managing Director of Shenbi Investment Limited, an indigenous and diversified investment holding company with interest in travel and tourism, aviation services, financial services, energy and commodities exports. He is an engineering graduate of the University of Lagos who has had a colorful career in the finance industry spanning investment banking, insurance, and commercial banking. His last role was as the head treasury sales of Guarantee Trust Bank before he founded the Shane B Group where he oversees all the subsidiaries. He is a life member of the Enterprise Development Center of the Lagos Business School and an active member of the National Association of Nigerian Travel Agencies, NANTA. Mr. Shebanto is always in search of knowledge and makes it a point of duty to be in school attending one course or the other almost every year. He has attended several courses within and outside Nigeria and is very passionate about entrepreneurship as well as self-empowerment. He's happily married to his secondary school sweetheart, Ololage, and are blessed with two children. Our graduating class, I say a warm welcome to our massive congratulations to you all. You know, on, on days like this, I, I, I try to come in early, you know, just looking around, seeing everybody is being a, I can tell that it's really a day of joy, you know, for, for us all. It is my distinct pleasure, you 
you are true or not to have the opportunity of addressing you today. When I was first notified <coughs> about being the guest speaker of today, I was a bit overwhelmed. I mean, understandably so, because I mean, I've attended a couple of graduation ceremonies, and um, I usually see the guest speakers, you know, they are eminently qualified individuals. So let me honestly confess, you know, that I neither have any eminent qualifications, you know, or abundance of experience to, to do this. So what I'll just do is I'll say a few words. I go back to my seat quietly and keep playing and enjoying, enjoying the day. Let me start by congratulating the proud parents, grandparents I've seen here, you know, guardians, everybody that has in one way or the other made this day, you know, possible. You know, we're all in school together these days. We all run around for homework, projects. I know I, I go around buying play no faster scene. I watch <laughs> YouTube videos trying to make all sorts of things and you know, revision for exams and COVID came, you know, and COVID really stretched us beyond our limits. You know, with online learning, we all had to become tech experts. You know, can you see my screen? Can you hear me? You know, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say it. So coming up to today, I mean, our joy truly knows no bounds. So to the teachers, the entire school support system, you know, everybody right from the from the gate all the way to the top, you know, it's been like it's, it's a wholesome experience. Now, so our stars of the day, graduating class of 2022, do I have your attention? I'd like to congratulate you all specially and can I can you request that we all rise and give them a standing ovation with a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have indeed done very well. Well done. I um, particularly the awardees. I saw people just getting awards, so one person stay back, this, this, this. You know, I always wonder to myself why brilliant people, people who are best in subjects, when they come off, I want to get more books. You know, I mean, I already read the books, <laughs> you know, and I'm here getting my own and giving more books to be able to read. It just goes to tell you that uh, it just never ends. I personally was privileged to serve in the ESC's class as part of the Father's Day celebration. And uh, to be with you, some of you remember, I got to talk to some of you, we learned active and passive voices and all of that. And I can say without a doubt that you guys are super smart and well equipped to take on the world. Take on the world. I have no doubt in my mind. What I would just say to you is continue to keep an open mind, remain hungry and thirsty for knowledge, it never ends. I mean, ask questions, always question things. There's always, there's always a better way of getting things done. Your habits of mind that you guys have been exposed to here, you need to invite them. Just aspire for greatness. Um, my dear friend was telling us about um, you know, you guys have gone through trials and tribulations. And I was just thinking to myself that if only you knew <laughs> what trials and tribulations you know await you all. But um, secondary school you see is a bit different from elementary school. You know, you get to make new set of friends, you form new relationships, some of which will remain with you for life. I am a living testimony of such relationships. I, I met my best friend when I was secondary school some 20 plus years ago. I shall bring my best friend to today after giving me two kids. You know, so we continue to forge our So friendship that are important. Miss Bakoli refers to them as your tribe, you know. You build those. But most importantly, the mode of learning. I mean, away from our IBCs, you know, away from learning our ICS and all of that. You take on more subjects, a lot more things to do. And you get more you know. There's so much to do. But I'll tell you something. Which, I mean, days like this, they're not days for long speeches because, I mean, we just want to get back today and start taking pictures and eating. So I'll tell you one thing, maybe the only thing you remember today is always tell yourself, I can do it. And I'll come, I mean, I'll confess, even as parents, when we're faced with certain tasks and projects and all of that, we still have to psych ourselves up to say, oh, I can do it. When you deliver and call me, I have to really tell myself, I can do it. And I'm right here doing it. 
you know. And after I enjoy the school's mantra, and my my favorite part, you know, when they say that I don't stop until I'm done. You know, so for some of you, for the very few of you that might not continue in Green Springs for now, you know, um, continue to take those things in, it really does work. You know, just for you to tell yourself you can do it. There's nothing, I mean, what's life without challenges? I think it's going to be extremely boring. So when challenges come, you have to like, you face them and do, you know, what you, you can. So at the end of the day, if all you take out of here is what? I can do it. You understand that? I can do it. That's all. So my message to you today is truly, you can do it. So once again, I mean, I on behalf of everyone sitting here, I congratulate you all. I wish you the very best in the journey ahead. I pray for you all today. You know, that God will always be with you every step of the way. The sky is just the beginning. And from what we have learned, it tells us that the bottom is way too crowded. So what? See you at the top. Thank you for this. Thank you so much for that inspiring speech. I would like to call on Anteyo Kobi to show our appreciation to you for the talking.
picture once you get your child's name in the Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and a big congratulations to the class of 2022. The special awards. <laughs> the trophy for Endeavor. This trophy is awarded to a year six student who has shown commitment to academic work and who made the most remarkable progress. The recipient this year is a young lady who has worked very hard, Elizabeth Saudi Evio. to the final year student who has shown in various ways most of the school's core values. This award goes to for Lachimi Bajoba. The award is presented to Ojuo Lakwe Ojenbe. Standards and what is the right thing to do. The award is presented to Omoni Bukumi Bankole.
Ikoi Community and Charity Prefect is a very creative student. Our hobbies are swimming, cycling, and playing golf. Our role models are mom and dad because they are successful engineers. She wants to be a medical doctor so she can relieve sick people of their pain and make them feel better. I present to you Ayori. to Farati. The outgoing deputy assembly prefect is a fun, creative and persistent girl. She always takes responsible risks and thinks flexibly. Our hobbies are playing the guitar, painting and singing. Our role models are parents, sisters and Bob Ross as she wants to become a famous artist and an entrepreneur in the future. I present to you Kuduwa to Farati. The outgoing deputy social prefect is a smart and talented boy. He has learned to be persistent and determined when faced with any challenge. He looks up to his father and his uncle, Baba Jimmy. Folajimi enjoys playing chess, football, and table tennis. He wants to be a lawyer in the future. I present you, Olua Folajimi. <laughs> Tomiwa likes reading and learning about American history. He likes making cookies, cakes, and playing with his dog. His role model are his mom and Napoleon Bonaparte. His mom encourages to continually strive for accuracy. Napoleon changed France from a struggling economy to a great economy and has various military victories. Tomiwa would like to be a historian and a president one day. I present to you, Tomiwa. Bankole The outgoing girl is a creative, kind, and helpful student. She always tries for accuracy in all she does. Our hobbies are playing table tennis, lawn tennis, swimming, and creative writing. Our role models are parents pushing her towards success. She would like to be a very successful entrepreneur in the future. I present to you Omoni Kupo. Bright Joseph. Joseph is a very lively student. He loves creative arts, football, and playing musical instruments. His role models are his spirit and Lionel Messi. He would like to be a footballer, although his teachers believe he will make a great artist due to his love for creativity. I present to you, Joseph. <laughs> Ola Ola is a smart and very outspoken boy. He loves animals. He enjoys creative and innovative activities. He aspires to be like his parents, especially his dad, Mr. Kazim Kodoti, who is hardworking, determined, and kind. Ola Ola hopes to be a pilot in the future. I present to you Ola Ola. Also enjoys reading, 
swimming and watch fast food programs during the spring time. I present to you only one day.
Popova Ethan. Ethan is an observant, intuitive, and intelligent young man. During his free time, he loves reading, writing his bicycle, and swimming. He considers his parents and Barack Obama as his role models. He enjoys experimenting and dealing with facts. This will ensure he fulfills his dream of becoming an astronaut later on in life. I present to you Ethan. Olamide enjoys drawing and writing. She takes great pleasure in fulfilling her responsibilities and helping others to do the same. No wonder she's the outgoing executive head girl. Olamide's future ambition is to be the doctor. Our role models are mother and Michelle Obama, who, has both, who are both strong advocates for poverty awareness education, nutrition, and physical activity. I present to you on that day. Shola Doi Ishe Ulua. The outgoing community and charity prefect is an independent and curious young learner who is always ready to face a challenge, are always a plain or key piano, chess, and karate. Our role models are parents and Serena Williams, who have taught us to never give up and to always strive for greatness. I present to you, show
Let's go back to the seats. Let's clap for them as the week of the week the seats. So thank you. We'll take this to the show. since I was two years old and it's taught me a lot that I know now. Before I entered Green Spring School, I hated work. I didn't like to do anything. I didn't like to do anything or play. But now here as a student, I am more independent and leaning to work. I feel ecstatic. It's amazing. Because ever since I was in year two, I've always been with Green Springs and it's actually helped me become a better person. We had a wonderful experience in Green Springs and we Today is, I mean, the crown of all the, the journey for our son, so we are very grateful to Green Springs. Green Springs is a fantastic school. Um, my kids joined from another school a few years ago and they've been very wonderful. The teachers are very supportive. Um, even when our son was struggling with some things like writing and all that, the teachers are very patient, reassuring, and I like the support system within the school. So. I'll support Green Springs any day, it's a, it's a good school. Today has been a very interesting day, fun day. The kids have done very well. I see faces of proud parents, everybody. You know, it's been a wholesome experience. The school community have done really good for them. The kids are putting their best and it's a thing of joy to see today happen. So as they forge ahead now moving to, move to secondary school, like I told them, you know, it's more work. I mean, the reward for, for hard work is more work. And I have no doubt in my mind that these are one of the brightest and smartest you can find around. So they, they are, and they are well equipped to take on the world. So yes, wishing them the very best in whatever they do. I am sure they will go forth and prosper. I told them all they need to do is I can do it. So I'm happy for them and I'm very sure they will do us proud. Thank you so much. And the uniqueness for this set is, I'll call them the babies of our innovation. Because when we moved on to online learning, they were in year five and they really worked hard and were able to attain great heights with their learning. It was very, very competitive and also adaptable for them to move swiftly online and back to physical school again. Just as we say in the mantra, the bottom is way too crowded, see you at the top. Keep aiming for the stars and you'll definitely get there. Thank you. Thank you.